Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera dan salam Malaysia Madani. I am Professor Datuk Dr. Mak Zamri bin Zainuddin, the Chairman of the Revised STPM Examination Syllabus Physics 960 and I will give a briefing on the Revised STPM Examination Syllabus Physics 960. AIMS The Physics 960 Syllabus is designed to enhance candidates' of knowledge and understanding of physics to enable them to either further their studies at institutions of higher learning or assist them to embark on a related career and also to promote awareness of the role of physics in the universe. Objectives The objectives of Physics 960 Syllabus are to enable candidates to use models, concepts, principles, theories and law of physics B. Interpret and use scientific information presented in various forms. C. Solve problems in various situations. D. Analyze, synthesize and evaluate information and ideas logically and critically. E. Use techniques of operation and safety aspects of scientific equipment. F. Plan and carry out experiments exper scientifically and make conclusions. G. Develop proper attitudes ethics and values in the study and practice of physics. Next, we move to the scheme of assessment. For semester 1, semester 2 and semester 3, which are physics paper 1, physics paper 2 and physics paper 3, the type of test for each paper is a written test. It consists of three sections, which is a sec section A, section B and section C. Section A consists of 20 multiple choice questions which carries 20 marks. Section B consists of two structured questions which carries 14 marks. And Section C consists of two essay questions which carries 26 marks. So, the total marks for each paper are 60 marks which carries 26.67%. The candidates must answer all questions. The duration of the test for each paper is 1.5 hours while the administration for the test for each paper is a central assessment. Next is Physics Paper 4. This paper is a coursework. The coursework consists of 15 experiments that should be carried throughout the three semesters, which is five experiments for each semester. Each experiment carries 15 marks. The total marks for this paper are 225 marks, which is equivalent to 20% while the administration for this paper is school-based assessment. Next is Physics Paper 5. This paper is a written practical test. This paper is for private candidates who are not taking coursework. This paper is to be taken in semester 3. Paper 5 consists of three structured questions. The total marks for this paper are 45 marks, which is equivalent to 20%. The duration for this paper is 1.5 hours while the administration for this paper is central assessment. Semester 1 Contents Basically, the theme and topics for the revised STPM examination syllabus Physics Paper 690 are the same as the previous syllabus. There is one new topic added in Semester 1, which is Topic 7. For Semester 1, all topics are covered about mechanics and thermodynamics. Topic 1, Physical Quantities and Units. The topic is divided into subtopics 1.1 Dimension of Physical Quantities, 1.2 Scalars and Vectors, and 1.3 Uncertainties in Measurements. Topic 2 is Kinematics. This topic is divided into subtopics 2.1 Linear Motion, 2.2 Projectiles. Next is Topic 3. The topic is Dynamics. The subtopics are 3.1 Newton's Law of Motion, 3.2 Linear Momentum and its Conservation. 3.3 Elastic and Inelastic Collisions and 3.4 Frictional Forces. Topic 4 is Work, Energy and Power. The topic will cover 4.1 Work, 4.2 Potential Energy and Kinetic Energy and 4.3 Power. Topic 5 is about Circular Motion. The topic will cover 5.1 Angular Displacement and Angular Velocity, 5.2 Centripetal Acceleration and 5.3 Centripetal Force. Next is Topic 6. The topic is gravitation. The subtopics are 6.1 Newton's law of universal gravitation, 6.2 gravitational field, 6.3 gravitational potential, 6.4 satellite motion in a circular orbit, and 6.5 escape velocity. Topic 7 is a new topic. The topic is rotation of rigid body. The topic will cover 
7.1 center of mass and center of gravity for system of particles, 7.2 momentum of inertia, 7.3 torque and angular acceleration, 7.4 angular momentum and conservation of angular momentum, 7.5 rotational kinetic energy. Next is topic 8. The topic is statics. The subtopics are equilibrium of particles and rigid bodies. Topic 9 is about deformation of solids. The subtopics are 9.1 stress and strain, 9.2 force against extension graph and stress against speed graph, 9.3 strain energy. Topic 10 is about kinetic theory of gases. The subtopics are 10.1 ideal gas equation, 10.2 pressure of a gas, 10.3 molecular kinetic energy, 10.4 degrees of freedom and law of equipartition of energy, 10.5 internal energy of an ideal gas. Topic 11 is about thermodynamic of gases. The topic will cover 11.1 molar heat capacity, 11.2 work done by gas, 11.3 first law of thermodynamics, and 11.4 isothermal and adiabatic changes. And the last topic for semester 1 is heat transfer. The subtopics are 12.1 conduction, 12.2 convection, 12.3 radiation, 12.4 global warming. Next, we move to the contents for semester 2. All the topics for semester 2 covered about electricity and magnetism. Topic 13 is electrostatics. The topic will cover 13.1 Coulomb's law, 13.2 electric field, 13.3 Gauss law, 13.4 electric potential. Topic 14 is a capacitor. The subtopics are 14.1 parallel plate capacitors, 14.2 dielectrics, 14.3 capacitors in series and in parallel, 14.4 energy stored in a charge capacitor, 14.5 charging and discharging of a capacitor through a resistor. Topic 15 is electric current. The subtopics are divided into 5.1 conduction of electricity, 15.2 drift velocity, 15.3 current density, 15.4 electrical conductivity and resistivity. Topic 16 is, is direct current circuits. The subtopics are 16.1 electromotive force, potential difference and internal resistance, 16.2 Kirchhoff's law, 16.3 potential divider, 16.4 potential meter and Wheatstone bridge. Next is on magnetism theme. Topic 17 is magnetic fields. The topic will cover 17.1 magnetic field, 17.2 force on a moving charge, 17.3 force on a current carrying conductor, 17.4 magnetic fields due to currents, 17.5 force between two current carrying conductors, 17.6 determination of the ratio charge over mass, 17.7 Hall effect. Topic 18 is electromagnetic induction. The subtopics are 18.1 magnetic flux, 18.2 Faraday laws and Lenz law, 18.3 self induction, 18.4 energy stored in an inductor, 18.5 mutual induction. And the last topic for semester 2 is 19 alternating current circuits. The subtopics are 19.1 alternating current through a resistor, 19.2 alternating current through an inductor, 19.3 alternating current through a capacitor, 19.4 RC, RL and RLC circuits in series. Now we proceed to the third semester, which is in the oscillation and waves, optics and modern physics deep. Topic 20 is oscillation. This topic will cover 20.1 simple harmonic motion, 20.2 energy in simple harmonic motion, 20.3 system in simple harmonic motion, 20.4 dam oscillation, 20.5 force oscillation and resonance. Next is about wave. Topic 21 is wave motion. The subtopics are 21.1 progressive waves, 21.2 wave intensity, 21.3 principle of superposition, 21.4 standing waves, 21.5 electromagnetic waves. Topic 22 is sound wave. The subtopics are 22.1 propagation of sound wave, 22.2 sources of sound, 22.3 intensity level of sound, 22.4 beat, 22.5 Doppler effect. Next about topic optics. Topic 23 is geometrical optics. The subtopics are 23.1 spherical mirrors, 23.2 refraction at spherical surfaces, 23.3 thin lenses. Topic 24 is wave optics. The subtopics are 
24.1 high guidance principle, 24.2 interference, 24.3 two slit interference pattern, 24.4 interference in a thin film, 24.5 diffraction by a single slit, 24.6 diffraction gratings, 24.7 polarization, 24.8 optical waveguides. Next theme is modern physics. Topic 25 is quantum physics. The subtopics are 25.1 photons, 25.2 wave particle duality, 25.3 atomic structure, 25.4 x-rays, 25.5 nanoscience. Topic 26 is nuclear physics. The subtopics are 26.1 nucleus, 26.2 radioactivity, 26.3 nuclear reactions. Next is about the coursework, which is paper 4. The physics coursework for STPI is meant to improve the quality of candidates on the experimental skill. The candidates should be able to A. Perform a set or sequence of instructions B. Plan and carry out experiments using appropriate methods C. Identify suitable equipment and use them correctly and carefully D. Determine the best range of readings for more detailed and careful measurements E. Make observations Take measurements and record data with precision, accuracy and suitable units. F. Recognize the importance of check readings and repeat readings. D, G. Reduce, reduce the limits of accuracy of observation and measurements. H. Present data and information clearly in appropriate forms. I. Interpret, analyze and evaluate observations, experimental data, perform error analysis and make deduction. J. Make conclusion based on the objective of the experiment. K. Identify sources of error and suggest modification for improvement. L. Identify the safety measures which need to be taken. M. Prepare a comprehensive report of the experiment and integrate scientific ethics and noble values. For coursework in the semester 1, the candidate will conduct 5 experiments. Experiment 1 is about introduction to error analysis. Experiment 2 is about projectile. Experiment 3 is about coefficient of static friction. Experiment 4 is about moment of inertia. Experiment 5 is about thermal conductivity. In the semester 2, the candidates will also add conduct 5 experiments. Experiment 6 is about capacitor and time constant. Experiment 7 is about Wheatstone bridge. Experiment 8 is about force on current carrying conductor in a new form magnetic field. Experiment 9 is about induced EMF. Experiment 10 is about RLC circuit in series. And in the semester 3, the candidate will conduct another 5 experiments. Experiment 11 is about simple harmonic motion. Experiment 12 is about standing sound wave. Experiment 30 is about lens Baker's equation. Experiment 40 is about diffraction grating. Experiment 50 is about photons. Last but not least is written practical test, which is paper 5. The question on this paper will test the candidate's ability to A. Record readings from diagrams of apparatus. B. Complete tables of data and plot graphs. C. Interpret, draw conclusion from and evaluate observation and experimental data. D. Recognize limitation of experiment and sources of errors. E. Explain the effect of errors on experimental results. F. Perform simple calculation and error analysis based on experiments. G. Suggest precaution or safety measures. H. Explain theoretical basis of experiments. I. Predict experimental result when a certain parameter is varied. J. Suggest or comment on experiment arrangement, techniques and procedure. That's all about the briefing for the revised STPL examination syllabus physics 960. All the best to all teachers and students. Thank you.